Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as I am finally getting the chance to return to season two, episode five of Invincible. And it kind of felt like with the first half, we just got introduced to some concepts and then they pumped the brakes. And now we're gonna dive back in. So if I remember, I can't remember any of the specific species names, but Nolan and Mark got their asses handed to them by the thermites, trolleodites, Nolan's people, who then took off with Nolan's beat up, pulped body. <laughs> Mark stuck on a planet with ants, with his stepmom, Debbie. Debbie needs help. Debbie needs something good to come her way. Eve is still struggling, struggling to find her place in the world and Angstrom Levy is metaverse, verse, multiverse hopping. Is his goal to take down Mark? Is that it? Is that his whole goal? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm excited to get to it. And I'm so glad that you are all here with me because it's actually watching the show with all of y'all is what makes this one so much fun. So we're going to get under the big cozy blanket and I have some water on standby. I hope you have your favorite beverages and are all comfortable as well. You're also going to remember full episode watch long is available on Patreon, which is where I would love to see you. And let's, let's just get to it. <laughs> Wonder if we're gonna get a previously on. We are. Forgive me, Alan. Hello, sir. Alan, Alan, right. So much introduced. So much introduced. You need to fight like a Viltrumite. Viltrumite, not Thermalite. <laughs> I need like a whiteboard with all the different names of things and whatnot and planets because I forget. <sighs> Did you lose all your teeth again, Mark? It's the Emperor's other son. Is he dead? The Emperor's other son, not just Emperor's son. <laughs> what a way to phrase that. Oh, and he's walking. I'm sorry. The city, these people, it's all our fault. My dad and I hadn't been here. Mm-hmm. Kind of true. None of this would have happened. Kind of true. If your father hadn't been here, I wouldn't have a son. I think it would have. It just would not be half Ultramite. <laughs> we will rebuild, Mark. Count on that. How does she birth that baby? I can't stop thinking, how did she birth that baby? Oh, he's got a little Spartanish outfit. How long has he been there without contact to his mother? Nozat, you can return to your planet and your center for learning and drink. I can't go yet. There's <laughs> still so much to do. Your people must need your strength. There's tons of heroes on Earth. I'm sure they got it covered. Okay, what chaos is happening now? <laughs> the might of omnipotence! Tremble before my unlimited power! No. I'm sure you know your planet best. <gasps> that Andressa. There's more to do here. And you've I... helped enough. It's time you returned home. Oh, is he trying to assuage his guilt? I must ask of you. Take your brother. Take your brother with you. What are you talking about? You're his mom. And I am dying. Look at me. Look how much older I am than when you first arrived. And that was just a week ago. Maybe, possibly, we don't know. I'll be gone before he can form a sentence. When Nolan was here, that was fine. He could be raised by his father. But now, everyone he knows here will soon be dead. Wow. What mother would abandon him to a life like that? <laughs> Remember me, child. Someday, I hope you'll understand why I had to let you go. Very soon, you'll be all he has, and he will need someone. It's a big ask. Thanks, Paul. See you tomorrow. Forgot to give you this. It's from all of us at the office. For the house we sold? Kind of. Well, 
We all know how hard it's been for you. And that I hit the bottle pretty hard. Good to have you back. The lot across the street is still <laughs> a keeping reminder of the drama. So where has Debbie been and who put the food on the table? Oh, okay, there he is. <laughs> it's been two months. two months. I try not to worry, but even Cecil's been frantic. He's, oh. Oh, geez. Mark, just say it's yours. Just say Who it's your kid. That? <laughs> this morning, I didn't even know if Nolan was alive. I, I, I didn't even know if I wanted him to be alive. His new kid is sitting in my kitchen. The filter mites took him, Mom. Your dad didn't have a choice. Oh, like hell he didn't. He didn't have to go to that planet. He certainly didn't have to find a new partner and have a new baby. Yeah, Mark, you didn't quite think this one through. Just leaves it for everyone else to clean up again and again. Children that age need constant care. Well, he ages fast. He won't stay a toddler for long. Yay. Maybe I could take a year off from college to look after him. Absolutely not. I've been gone for two months. What about Cecil? We can't. There's got to be other options. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> this baby's been given to this group to raise. I can't give him to a stranger, and I don't want to leave college, but... Debbie, don't you dare. Don't you dare, David. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. <sighs> don't quit school, Mark. I'll take some time off of work and look after him for a few days. Yes, I know it's a baby. It's a child who didn't ask for any of this. But neither did Debbie. Sir, may I have a minute? We're a little busy, Donald, if you hadn't noticed this. So you've just been sitting on this, Donald, for a couple of months? Everybody out! <laughs> you heard me. I need the room. If I had a coworker. It was pretty da -da 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 every day, and then all of a sudden went, Bleh! I would run. I would run! After Omni Man went bad last year, we blew up our surveillance house to stop him. You triggered it after getting everyone to safety. House. You barely made it out alive yourself. You were in shock. You got burned pretty bad. Is that what you call this? Oh, he cut a whole section out of his arm. What did you do to me? Lights. Oh! Ooh! What is that? You? It's what we did to you. Damn sight better than your old one, if you ask me. Your old one? You were lucky. His old one? When we pulled you out, your brain was intact. The rest of you, not so much. Cecil, what the hell am I now? You're you. But better. Stronger. Alive. And you were never gonna tell him? Oh, William, what have you been up to? <laughs> Since when did you start locking the window? Um, I started locking it after that giant bug dressed like a dog <laughs> showed up. You need to go see the dean, by the way. Something about <laughs> academic probation. You said you'd cover for me. For two months? Two months, Mark? That's more excuses than anyone can make up. I need to see Amber first. Oh, sure. Ditch me for your girlfriend, why don't you? It'll give you time to put all my posters back up. He thinks he's going to be able to stay there. Huh. <laughs> and when exactly were you planning to tell me you were back? I saved millions of lives out there, Cecil, and it looks like everything here was just fine. Yeah, things were just peachy. So what has happened? Oh yeah, that guy. Try <gasps> squid. What I did out there, what I found was important. You already know, don't you? Did Debbie tell him? Or is Debbie's house bugged? We keep an eye on Debbie for her protection. I'll 
go see my girlfriend like I planned. Fine by me. I'll send a team to pick up no one's kid. <gasps> what are you gonna do? Leave him with your mom? He's an alien. We're more qualified to take care of him. It's kind of true. Call your people off. They're already on their way. Not if I beat them there. Call them off. Now. Guys, this is my boyfriend, Mark. Wow, so he is real. I thought Amber was just trying to brush off creepy dudes. I've been talking about myself this whole time. No, I, I mean, you've been through a lot. I get it. He almost died. Yeah, again. I want to know everything I missed. Classes. <laughs> well, college is no joke. I failed a sociology test that's worth a third of my grade. My grandpa died. Oh, good lord! It too well. Oh, jeez! Yeah, I got <gasps> through it. Funeral, coming back here. So who's this... this going to become? They have it there on standby for a reason. And nobody's stopping it? Oh, is this a dream? Sir. Sir. Okay, it was a dream. There's something you need to see on our long range scans. Fultramites, heading this way. Time. Monster Girl, Kate, shower off. May I remind you that Monster Girl's transformations cause her to age in reverse? That this kind of training is hazardous for her. I've developed mm. a simulation and- hey. I can hear you, you know. Speak. It's not his job to track my transformations. And it's not yours either. If you get this controlling after one date, there's not gonna be another one. Oh no! Is eighth grade prom canceled? <laughs> Don't tell me. Ah! <laughs> we have a problem. Narrow it down a thousand, Cecil. It's coming from Mars, headed directly for Earth. <gasps> oh, it's a sequence. Ships coming from Mars, huh? I wonder if there's anyone here with insider knowledge of Mars. I have a secret to unbury. Prepare yourselves, for the truth may be more than you can handle. We know you're a Martian. What, you think we'd let you join the team without figuring that out? You all knew that? <laughs> I was born a baby Martian, far away on the planet Mars. Hence why you're a Martian. Like all Martians, we use sequids as our servant. I hated living underground. I wanted to see the stars. Kid, I think you need to go a little bit faster with your backstory. Ah. So when the opportunity presented itself, I took it. I hitched a ride to Earth with your space people. He hitched a ride? What happened to the real astronaut? My, my people were right behind us in the tunnels. I thought they'd find him before the Sequids did. They possess the real Russ Livingston, and they're capable of possessing a million more of us. And it's all your fault. Mm -hmm. Yes, you understand now. Send him up to deal with it. But that ship cannot be allowed to reach Earth, and Shapesmith is the only source of intelligence we have. We need him for now. For now. It's an alien spacecraft, so you'll need my technical expertise. I'll be protected in my suit. There are millions of sequids on that ship. We won't be enough. Look, I realize this is out of character, but I have an idea. <laughs> oh, that's right. Amber went back home to the rents. You know, it's been like five years and your parents still haven't fixed the lock on your window. My parents were right. Who do I think I am? Everybody fucks up. To fuck up is human. Shakespeare said that. Having powers isn't easy, but we do our best. What are you looking for, Rex? Even assholes like me. You are so far in the black that it's stupid. Is that the picture of her family? You showed this to me the week we met. I hardly think about them now. Because you got through it. And then you got through my douchebag teenage ass dumping my problems on you and hiding in your bedroom for a year and a half. A year and a half? You've saved so many people. And each time, you made this shitty, awful, terrible world a little bit better. Rex, what is this insightful truth bomb you're dropping right now? And that couple you pulled from the river? They're gonna make a full recovery. 
because of you. Although are they robots now? Did Cecil make him into robot people? But yes, I do have a tiny favor to ask that involves a space rocket ship. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, so this baby is neither Voltrum, is neither human, it's not human. It's, it's human. What do they, what do Voltramites and Thraxians eat? What did Mark feed him on the ride there? Hey, do you know where dead stuff is? I got rid of most of it. Give it to Charity. Charity? Which Charity would take Omni-Man the destruction of half the world? His crap. When the Viltrumites were taking that away, he told me to read his books. Does Angstrom Levy have these books now? They're heading for Earth, and it's serious, and a lot of people could get hurt. So, I... so for now, just live like this may be your last day to be alive. <laughs> Is that what he's telling her? Hey, Janny, you guys got plans tonight? Because we need to live like it's our last day to be alive. Two minutes to launch. Well, that's my cue to leave you brave little astronauts to the endless darkness of space. Three, two, one. Did Shapesmith, dude? You two may not know this or acknowledge it um, anyway, but copyright. this guy's now the ranking guardian on Earth. I don't even know if I made a sentence. I just said words. I just made sounds. Get ready, because we are just going to chill out until those losers get back. We're supposed to monitor other threats while they're gone. Oh, sure. Like there's gonna be two huge world-shattering emergencies at the same time. I'd like to see that, Ray. Someone's cooking. Sorry, Sarge. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Jerry, you scared the shit out of me. Uh, get your damn snack and get out of <laughs> Oh, it's the, wait, who are these people? <laughs> are these the lizard people? Oh. What is the lizard people? <laughs> What's a problem but an opportunity in disguise? You want them to know we're here? Of course. This just speeds things up a bit. Okay. We need more information about the Martian ship, its weapon systems, what kind of resistance we can expect once we're on board. You guys are boarding. They're gonna board I'd it. Rather not, since those are Martian military. Oh, dude. Secrets. Dude. Dude. But I will, though. In just a minute, I'll cut the shuttle's power. Like Shapesmith says, the Martian ship is large, so we'll look like debris to them. Then, we'll clamp on and cut an entry hole in the hull. But it won't work. They'll know the difference between space garbage and whatever we are. You're telling us this now? <laughs> yes, I'm telling you this now. This man is the worst. He is the worst. Everyone, close to me now! She's just gonna keep him alive in a little bubble? With no atmosphere? Or very little atmosphere? Cecil's just checking in to say hi, right? Cecil? Right? Nope. Nope. Chaos waits for no man. Please calm down. We have enough oxygen for at least 10 minutes. Thank you, robot. Can you breathe on the ship? You're humans. They'll enslave you immediately. We're not like the rest of our kind. We can withstand them. Ugh. We can. Gross. Ah! <gasps> Got it. No. They share minds. Now all the sequins know you're here. Dude. Well, this has put a um fast forward button on that. We just sit here and wait for the government to comply with our demands. <laughs> Die fast, assholes. My pizza's getting cold. Ah, uh, humans, you think you could stop us? So how do you kill these cichlids? Fire? <laughs> so now, Monster Girl is also impenetrable? 
Oh, is this one of those sound frequency things? Kill as many as you can while they're out. Fire! <gasps> oh, he figured her out. Ah, oh, Lucky! He's the oh. Kate! Well, they're not going for the balls! You were right underneath the balls! Just. Can Kate replicate fast enough? Right. Oh. Is that the end of Kate? Kate? Kate doesn't leave one of herself behind? <laughs> Kate doesn't leave one of herself behind? You can do this. Rudy. I can use my suit to build an amplifier for the pulse I used earlier. But you'll need to protect me until I'm done. How long? Too long. Too long. <laughs> uh, you're gonna fucking pay for that. <laughs> Ugh! Rex, you're not doing well either. What was that guy's powers? Is she gonna come out through his ear? Oh no, his eyeball. Okay. Hey, idiot. He ate her. She doesn't stay small. How's she gonna break through his rib cage? Unless she just tears him up from the inside and then gets smalls and crawls back out. Yum. Yeah, Rex, you haven't blown anything up. Where is Cecil in all of this? Where's the rest of the crew? Nobody's monitoring the situation? Just do it, you prick. No, 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 no! Oh no, he's also vulnerable! Oh. That's where we're ending it? That's where we're ending it. Mm. Oh, Alan! I'm not dead. He's not dead. I was pretty sure I was dead. So do we. I felt like I was dead. This mm -hmm. is... Oh, this is a nice surprise. For half a second, I was waiting for them to zoom out to his other eye. I forgot he only has one. <laughs> I am glad to see you in one piece, Alan of Unova. Are you? Is he? I'm afraid I owe you an apology. I turned off your life support machine. I knew without it, you would either die or recover stronger than before. You may now be able to stand your ground against a Viltrumite. Yeah, well... I appreciate your vote of confidence, but I'm not gonna ask for a rematch anytime soon. If I even see another Viltrumite, I'm gonna... There's one there. <gasps> Shit, you're a Viltrumite? No, I am something much worse. Viltrumite without a beard? I am the only Viltrumite to ever rebel against the Empire. At least, until you told me about Invincible. He is the key to turning the tide of this war. Okay. <laughs> so the beard put him in disguise and he just really, it wasn't his own beard because he had a mustache, right? And he's really, anywho. So he seemed on the older side. 
and vulture mites age very slowly. So this man must be ancient. And what a test of pulling Alan. And Rex is dead? Kate's dead? Ray's got crushy crushied. It's all going to hell in a handbasket. And I don't know which way I want them to go because I don't know what the goal is of this half of the season. Is it going to get Nolan? Is it protecting the earth from the Voltramites? And then we've got Ingstrom Levy running around, not in this episode. So because I don't know what the ultimate story arcing plot is, I don't know what I want to happen. So I'm just kind of floating which if you watch my reaction, sometimes I don't like. I like to know where we're going. I like to know the plot points. How we get there is the, the journey is the fun part, but I like to know what my destination is. Please and thank you. It just gives me comfort. It gives me comfort. But everyone's in peril. Everyone's in peril. And how do we get out of this? Who survives? Who survives? Kate, Kate's really gone. I don't know why I'm so upset by that, but I am. And who's the other robot for that Donald found? Lots of questions. So basically we have lots of questions and answers may be forthcoming. So I found the microphone in the bosom. So hopefully I'll just wrap this up. Don't know where we're going. Lots of questions though. What the hell? But I want you back with me when we get, hopefully get some answers. So please, um, if you haven't already hit subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll let you know also when the next video drops and take care of yourselves, please. This is your reminder to stand up, go get something to eat and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.